My name is Jonathan Boyd. I'm the Head of Applied Arts uh, in the School of Arts and Humanities at the Royal College of Art. So that's a remit that includes the ceramics and glass and the jewellery and metal programmes. So ceramics and glass is situated within the remit of the Applied Arts and the Applied Arts has this incredible oscillation between things. It's a convergent point between ideas of art and ideas of design, of material, the immaterial, the digital, the analogue, industry, studio practice. And so it's a really exciting, invigorating place to, to work, um, pulled in multiple directions all the time. Our students in Ceramics and Glass are absolutely engaged with the material world and they work and believe in the transformative power of material to change and to narrate and to discuss the world they see around them. We have a wide range of people coming and studying in our courses. Fine artists, applied artists, designers, all of them coming together to talk about what it means to engage with material, what it means to believe in the transformative power of material. One of the things that really underpins the Ceramics and Glass programme is the incredible access to facilities. So for ceramics we have a, a whole range of kiln facilities, a plaster room, uh, each student gets their own bench where they can be making uh, throughout the day. We also have amazing glass facilities where we have a cold workshop and a hot workshop so students can be working with hot glass and they can also be grinding and finishing glass in our cold glass room. Students coming into the Ceramics and Glass programme are really taken on a, a journey, a learning journey, which is mostly self-directed, but which we really push and shape how one learns through this journey. We then offer students different ways of seeing the world, different deconstructive research methods, to challenge ways that they've worked previously and to think about how they might work in new, exciting ways. Can they try new technologies? Can they try new equipments? Can they try new approaches to materials and materiality? We then ask them to start thinking about their own methodology and for me that's really the exciting thing about the RCA is that we don't give people a methodology, we really encourage students to develop their own approach. How do you see the world? How do you make? How do you think through the processes? And then this is finished with an independent research project which has a public showing of work right in the middle of it so students start to think about curation, how their work is disseminated to an audience, how that work might be interpreted by an audience. So students graduating from our programme find themselves in an array of different professional contexts. Some go on to become researchers, academics, teachers. Some go on to become fine artists. We have multiple um, ceramicists working in fine art industries. We also have people working in design and ceramics design industries, whether that's in pottery industry, but also in the built environment. So people looking at how ceramics and glass might engage with architecture, with social practices, generally within the built environment and the effect that these materials have on the public. One of the main reasons I wanted to be here was to be surrounded by a group of people who had been drawn from all over the world to a place dedicated entirely to making in ceramics and glass. The people who I'm really influenced by, there's a good proportion of them that came here. So it was a dream. You make friends from all over the world. We became a group that really cares about each other. So uh, if I see an opportunity or a residency that's good for one of the artists in, in my class, I'm just going to send it to them. I thought that this school was an amazing place to experiment and to study, to um, enjoy. It's the Royal College of Art. The facilities are absolutely amazing. You know, um, rapid form, laser, metal, wood, ceramics, jewellery. You go up two floors, you can work with silver. You go down, ceramics and glass. Uh, if you want painting, it's here. If you want print, it's here. Industrial design is here. Wood is here, everything. The relationship that you have with technicians with staff is a much more level one if, if we can say it like that you know that actually they're interested in what I'm doing and I'm interested in what they're doing. When I came to them with an idea for a large sculpture I was able to like go back and forth and have a quick chat and be like I'm thinking about this and drawing it and figuring out the best way to use the material in the most efficient way. I had a good support from moving image and then the photographic studio. They are really nice and open and, and always there when you need them. To come here was a fantastic opportunity to work with some really exciting new people and the tutors have been absolutely fantastic. 
they will really try to guide you and then direct you to the right person to help you to do your work. For me, a really interesting reason to study a programme like Ceramics and Glass is as we live in an ever-increasing digital world, there's always the drawback to materials. And if you look at areas of philosophy and anthropology, there's been what's called the material turn. People are turning back to materials. They're looking back to materials for answers to understand how we navigate the world. How do we think about stuff with more care, more empathy? And we live in a material world. You know, we're situated here in London, surrounded by brick buildings. It is a clay and glass environment and we need the tools to understand how we engage with those materials, how we use those materials, how we reflect on those materials, how we critique those materials to really understand our place in the world.